dawn breaks. Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Morstein's Gate. We stayed up all night again. Fighting drowsiness, I refill my mug with instant coffee. I've already lost count of how many I've had. Okabe. Kirisu hands her mug to me without looking away from the computer. I guess she expects me to refill it. Since when did I become her maid? She should ask Mayuri for stuff like this. Mayuri's a professional maid, after all. That said, Kuris is the one reading CERN's documents right now. Dara and I can manage if we use translation software, but we're nowhere near as efficient as she is. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I said I wanted to borrow her knowledge. It just goes to show that I was right to make her a lab mem. She's an asset to the lab. For now, at least, I should try not to upset her. It's gonna happen inevitably, don't worry about that. I silently take the mug from Karisu, dump in the powdered coffee and pour in hot water from the pot. Two packets of sugar, no milk. Karisu's already requested it the same way five times today. I mix it well and bring it over to Karisu. She doesn't immediately realize I'm standing behind her, so I hold the mug in front of her face. Karisu takes it without turning. Thanks. Her eyes never leave the screen. She's completely absorbed in Cern's research. Even though she was adamant when she called them traitors to scientists everywhere, she's not above picking their brains. But I understand how she feels. I'm itching to know more myself. Daru is fast asleep on the sofa. His snoring is quite loud. Furthermore, it sounds like he has sleep apnea. Not sure what that is. But I think Daru deserves some sleep after hacking into CERN. I'm surprised Kirisu has been able to ignore it. Is she just that focused? And these birds chirping in the background are really annoying. I decide to watch some TV. As always, the news channels are all covering the Radio Kaikon satellite crash. Still? Don't they like move on from stuff like this after a while? Five days have passed since the satellite crash, and with the start of summer vacation season, crowds are gathering to get a glimpse of the satellite, which still has not been removed. I came from Nagoya. I wanted to see it. I drove all the way from Saitama. It's amazing. Where did that thing come from? Yay! I'm a high school girl from Shiba! Scandals! <clears throat> Tourists from all over Japan are flocking to this location. In an interview earlier today, Michael Byrne, spokesman for NASA, stated that no satellite had crashed in Japan and that the crashed object was in fact not even a satellite. The satellite is currently under police investigation. No date for removal has been set. Is it really under investigation? This could be another plot by the organized set. Do do do! Good morning! Oh wait, should I say good afternoon? The door unlocks from outside and Mayuri comes in. She has a convenience store bag in hand. From part-time warrior. Subject hungry. I'm so hungry, I had to skip breakfast again today. I don't have much money on hand. Are there any good places to find insects or weeds around here? I can get by using my survival skills if I have to. What kind of childhood did you have? Okay. Alright. Interesting. Anyways, uh, sorry about that, Mary. That was awfully mean of me. There are various food items inside, but it doesn't look like they're for us. Ooh, the air in here is so thick! The three of us probably look pretty haggard since we stayed up all night. But it's hard to put on a bright smile now that I know about CERN. I'll refresh the air. Myri opens the window wide. The sky is so blue it hurts my eyes. Large clouds listlessly drift on the wind. It truly is a refreshing sight. Myri's appearance makes Daru get up with a grimace. With a grimace. I'm not sure about that yet. Kurisu also finally moves away from the computer, sipping her hot coffee while rubbing her eyes. I glance at the clock, then go to the center of the room and call for attention. Since all lab mems are present and accounted for, this is the perfect opportunity to hold another round table conference. Roundabout confluence? What's that? A meeting of lab mems. Have we ever done that before? Do you even have a round table? Not physically. However, it exists in the hearts of all lab mems. Am I mistaken? Yes, you're mistaken. Don't go sticking things to people's hearts. 
Is there one in my Yushi too? Of course there is. Oh, that's good. Well, what's a roundable? And why a round table, you King Arthur? I'm on. I'm only a temporary lab mem anyway. These people whine about every little thing. Anyway, it's a round table conference. Mayuri wasn't here last night, so first, let's explain the situation to her. I tell Mayuri e about everything we discovered in her absence. About how CERN is making a time machine. About Jellyman. About how men in black might be coming to erase us for what we know. I told you you shouldn't do bad things. <laughs> bad, you say? We are bad? Absurd. If we're bad, then CERN is even worse. They aren't satisfied with ruling the world. Now they want to get their hands on space-time itself. I agree. For some reason, Carizu backs me up. What CERN is doing is unforgivable. They're traitors to humanity, to society, and to science. I guess... She doesn't sound convinced. I didn't want to get Mayuri involved, but she's surprisingly perceptive. She'd find out even if we kept it a secret, so it's better to just tell her. Anyway, Ragnarok can no longer be averted. The final battle with CERN is near. A large part of me is still afraid, but we've come too far to turn back now. We can't unlearn what we know. Ragnarok? Norse mythology again? Don't go bashing my Norse mythology. Christina, I ordered you to investigate CERN. What have you learned? I don't remember being ordered, but whatever. There are two problems CERN faces with time travel. First is the electron injection device, also known as a lifter. The second is the plane going above Dark's house, making noise. Unless they get it to function properly, they can't make the Kerr black hole singularities naked. If you send a test subject through the singularity in its current state, the supergravity compresses them into the micro level. Naturally, there's no way to survive. The second problem is that they can't specify a physical destination. They can't choose where they end up after traveling to the past. That's why I'd say the 14 found gentlemen were the lucky ones. Over a hundred human experiments have been performed since 200 and 2001. The remaining 80 or so people ended up somewhere they can't be found. Why can't they be found? Didn't you know, Mayushi? The world is constantly moving. Its rotational speed is 1,500... KP per hour? Uh... Um... Mm, I don't know measurement. And his orbital speed is 114,000 kph. Dari's tone is authoritative, but he's just relaying what he heard from Kirisu last night. CERN has been looking for solutions, but it's not going well. So even CERN is having difficulties. Now then, have you learned anything that could help us complete the phone wave named subject to change? Hmm... Carissa stares at the ceiling in thought. Well, I suppose you could call the LHC the world's largest microwave oven. Of course! In other words, the phone wave, named Subject to Change, is a miniature LHC. You might be onto something there. I was sure she'd deny it. In fact, I thought she'd yell at me. But instead, she agreed with me. Throws me off a little. However, there are too many things we don't know about the phone wave. What do the same phenomena that occur in CERN's time machine also occur in that tiny little microwave? Unlike the LHC, this thing wasn't made for time travel. It was made to warm Mayushi's chicken! Uh, well, yeah. Since the Jellyman phenomenon occurs with a phone wave named Service to Change, Mayuri's bananas must be reaching for the Kerr Black Hole Ring Singularity. It makes a black hole? Here? It won't suck us in, will it? If it sucked us in, we'd become Jellyman too. But we still haven't figured out the electric discharge phenomenon, or the conditions required to cause it. During our experiments earlier, we were only able to send emails to the past during the discharge. Although it hasn't happened again, that discharge phenomenon could very well signify the injection of chain charge, that is, electrons. And only when it occurs does the path to the singularity open. We don't know the cause of the discharge phenomenon. That's what we need to find out. In the first place, the emails we're sending to the past are digital data, not physical objects. That's a definite difference from CERN's time machine. 
No, we're doing the same thing. Who's to say that digital data can't go through a singularity? I think it would be easier than sending something human-sized. Well, I suppose that's true. You know, the way you guys talk about email... It makes me think of folding a letter into a paper airplane and making it go zoom, you know? It's more like a beam of light. Like optical digital data. By the way, it's a pain to keep saying email sent to the past. Let's give it a proper name. I've got a bad feeling about this. What's that supposed to mean? You dare mock Hoyu and Kiyuma? You just want to give it some oddball name, don't you? <laughs> How rude. Heed me! I shall name the phenomenon of email sent to the past as follows. The name shall be... Nostalgia Drive! Sounds pretty good. Confusing. Rejected. What? You... Who gave you the authority to reject my ideas? You're just an assistant! Then why don't we take a vote? All in favor of Nostalgia Drive. My hand shoots into the air. But nobody follows suit. Have you forsaken me, Daru? Mayuri! Christian's right. It's too hard for Mayushi to remember. It's way too tuny, man. Traitors. Fine. Then let's hear alternatives. Don't tell me you rejected my idea without having any bright ideas of your own. I think it needs to be something easy to understand. It's an email that regresses through time, so how about retro mail? What does retro mean? Mayuri's busy eating strawberry jelly. How could you eat that stuff after hearing about Jellyman? Sounds like you have your answer, Christina. You said it should be easy to understand, but it wasn't easy to understand at all, was it? B but that's because Mayuri-san is... Uh, n never mind. Were you about to say because Mayuri's dumb? N no! Eh? Uh, uh, Christian? Do you think Mayushi is dumb? I don't, I promise, I don't, okay? Somehow Karisu manages to glare at me, even while soothing Mayuri. I vote the male who leapt through time. That's too stiff, it's hard to say. It's better than your nostalgistic explicitus nonsense. Nostalgia drive, it's not that difficult, people! Am I makes a movie title referent? That's not cool. It needs to be cool. Are you rejecting it for that? Do do do! Mayushi has an idea. How about back to the mail? It took a movie. I took a movie title and changed the word to mail. I already did the movie joke, Mayushi. Besides, I think the meaning is a little off. You probably meant mail to the future, but our emails go to the past. It's not about the meaning. I took a movie title and changed the word to mail. Either way, it's too long. Then how about DeLorean Mail? Part-time warrior. You don't want to know, laughing my ass off. Yes, okay. Yeah. Thanks for your helpful, helpful replies. That doesn't even say what kind of email it is! Hey, we don't have time for this nonsense. Let's just abbreviate it to D-mail and move on. You got mail. You wanna know what kind of mail? D-mail. <laughs> that just sounds creepy. But that's boring! I don't care if it's boring. Shot down. <laughs> Carizo's influence in the lab seems to have grown significantly these past few days. D-mail it is! Mayuri, finished with her jelly, proclaims in satisfaction. Wait, when did Mayuri become the moderator? So why does the D-mail phenomenon occur? Because the path through the ring singularity is open. We've been over this already. We don't know if there's... <gasps> Let me try that again. We don't know if there's actually a black hole at work here. It could be an entirely different phenomenon that just happens to resemble CERN's experiments. It's dangerous to jump to conclusions. Why so timid? Don't you want our time travel experiments to succeed? That's why you put our lives on the line to hack CERN! What we need is to figure out how to turn the phone wave named Subit the Change into a usable time machine. Do you really think that's possible? There is no think, only do! What, did you read that off a motivational poster? 
You're like the classic incompetent boss. Damn you! You dare insult the insane mad scientist Hoyo and Kiyuma! Well, it's not like Okarin's the boss, anyway. Indeed! I am the symbol of this lab, not a boss. I don't know what you mean by symbol, but how do you plan to turn a phone wave into a time machine? Let's have details. My plan? Alright, there is one thing. We've been thinking that the electrical discharge happens at random, but I have a hypothesis. Which is? I look at my watch. It's past noon. Recall the conditions when it occurred, Christina. We experimented through the night with no results, but there's one variable we overlooked. The simplest, most definite variable of all. Time of day? Yeah! That is the time of the occurrence. Ah. I checked the times of the two previous occurrences. When I accidentally sent the first D-mail to Daru's phone, it happened between noon and 1 p.m. The second time, when all four of us observed the D-mail, it was 6 p.m. So if we perform the experiments within that time frame, we might be able to reproduce the effect. Let's try it right now! Kurisu bolts into the development room, suddenly bursting with enthusiasm. Well, I'm glad to see she has her priorities straight. My Yushi's banana supply is getting low. I gotta buy more. Only one banana remains untouched. Not good. We got rid of the jellified bananas, and then we ate the rest. Sorry, Mayuri-chan. I'll go buy you some new bananas later. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okarin and Darukun eat my bananas, but they never buy new ones. I'll be sure to amend that in the future. A bunch of bananas is a small price to pay in order to bring chaos to the world. Kurizu picks the last banana off the stem, leans under the table and places it inside the microwave. First, let's see if it'll become a jelly man. <laughs> ah! She tries to get up and gloriously bangs her head underneath the table. Trying for the clumsy girl appeal. It was an accident! Kurizu gets up, blushing in embarrassment with tears in her eyes. Aww. Put the microwave somewhere else. It's dangerous and hard to reach like this. It'll punch through the floor if you put it on the table. Christian! Christian! Pain! Pain! Go away! Mayuri pats the back of Carisu's head and then sweeps her hand through the air. Thanks, Mayuri-san. Carisu pulls herself together, types on her phone and activates the phone wave, names subject to change. The bananas inside the microwave slowly begins to spin backwards as the timer counts down. Ah! Kurisu, who is peering into the microwave, suddenly shouts in surprise. The bananas vanished! At the exact same moment, the banana reappears on its stem, jellified. Oh yeah, we're onto something. Whoa! It became a gel banana! <laughs> Just as I suspected, the critical variable was time. I was a little anxious about the results, but it all worked out. I outbidded the impertinent genius girl. Now my position as a symbol of the lab is secure. Way to go, Kabe. It was so simple, I didn't notice it. Carissa says it with a slightly sulky expression. You're praised as you credit, Christina, but I know you're frustrated you didn't think of it first. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can send another D-mail. Kurisu ignores my proud laughter and excitedly starts typing out a mail. Ugh, I feel like my authority has been on the decline since that girl showed up. It's cool, man. You never had any to begin with. Help me, you two! Okaba, I'm sending an email to your phone. When did I become her assistant? I grind my teeth in frustration, but I do as I'm told and insert my phone into the phone wave, named Servit to change its slots. What are you gonna send, Christian? Mayuri presses up against Karisu and sneaks a peek at Karisu's phone. It doesn't matter what it says, what matters is whether we can send it or not. Hmm? Let me see. Okabe is an airhead. Wait! You there! Oh. Wait, sorry, that was, that was, I thought Carissa was gonna interrupt her, it was actually Rintaro. Wait, you there, assistant! What are you typing? You'll see. Ready? I'm sending it. 
Doris already set the microwave's timer through the X X six blah de blah. There's nothing inside, but the microwave still operates. The countdown starts from 120. This is where the timing counts. We know that we may have to open the microwave door during operation, but we still don't know when to send the mail. For now, we'll do them simultaneously. Carissa readies her finger on the phone send button. I grasp the microwave's door handle. Myri seeks cover. Starting the countdown! The microwave timer soon indicates 70. 3, 2, 1, 0! Carissa presses send. And at nearly the same instant, I open the microwave door. Ah! <laughs> it's working! It's working, you guys! Lightning crackles in the air. The cushion underneath the phone wave, named Shepard to Change, collapses under the weight. The floor starts creaking. It's exactly like the discharge phenomenon that occurred before. The discharge lasts for about 10 seconds. After it subsides, we stare at the phone wave, named subject to change, with bated breath. Luckily, it didn't break through the floor. Did it arrive? I disconnect my phone from the phone wave, named subject to change, and check my mail. Carissa stands beside me and peers at the screen. Here we go, then. It's the moment of truth. At least one part of the message got through. Airhead. Oh, there, there's the other one. There's an email there. Two of them, even. And they're written in English. The timestamps are from five days ago. <sighs> oh, 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 yeah, okay, so she laughs at the message, because we don't get it, since it's English and we're Japanese. Kurisu starts laughing when she sees the mail, even though she's the one who wrote it. The Okabe in the first one is obviously my name. But what does Airhead in the second one mean? My English is shaky. Is she saying my head can fly or something? Whatever. I may not know what it means, but I do know this. My assistant is making fun of me. But that doesn't matter right now. Christina! Did you send two mails? Eh? No, I only sent one. Mayushi saw it too. She really only sent one. But I received two. It's been the same. Like, whenever we try to write more than a certain amount of letters, we, it gets split up. You're right. I even sent it in one sentence, but it got divided. By the way, what does this word mean? Why don't you look it up? I guess she doesn't want to answer. That reminds me. The D-mail from before was cut up mid-sentence too. What? I, how can you forget that? Was it? Yeah, look at your history. I'm pretty sure I sent Okarin Superb. A game about checking text messages. Oh yeah. Yep. You're right. This one got split too. Well, that. Hopefully no humans will get split in two if they try to use your machine. I wonder what's causing it. Maybe it's related to the Jellyman. Um, Mayushi wants to know why it arrived five days ago. Good point. Didn't the last one also arrive five days before we sent it? Yeah, it did. What makes it arrive five days before, though? Is there some kind of rule for when it arrives? Let's try sending more! Mayuri's right. Now that we've figured out how to send emails, we should keep experimenting and collect as much data as we can. I don't think the floor's gonna take it, dude. Alright, lab mems! Battle stations! He's at it again. Our mission? To send as many emails as possible. Sounds like you're just taking some pictures down here and mailing them to random females. That's what a email sounds like, but it's at least easy to say. Daru! Mandy X68000, your job is to observe, adjust, and gather information on the phone wave named Serpent to Change. Assistant, keep those mails coming. Try various patterns of text Japanese, English, full with, half with emoticons. The actual messages don't matter. 
I'm sure Shining Finger would be better for the job, but since she's not a lab mem, I'll leave it to Kurisu. What about Mayushi? Your mission is to go shopping. Just buy some bananas for now. I, Hoi and Kiyuma, shall fund you. Wow, you're so generous. So I guess your job is opening the microwave. Whoa, you saved the easiest job for yourself. I'm opening a microwave where electrical discharge gets flung into my face. How is this the easiest job? Heh. <laughs> No, my assistant's judgment is sound. The key to a successful D-mail is most likely the correct timing of opening the microwave door. Uh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Leave this task to Hoyo and Kiyuma. I shall open this door with precision, boldness, and delicacy, as if it were the flesh of a beautiful woman. So you're gonna open the door like you would do- Are you gonna open flesh? What? Oh, Corinne, that's naughty! Furthermore, the cure operation is top secret. You must not leak it to anyone. Got it? Myri nods. The others are ignoring me. Now I shall give this operation a name. It shall be known as a... Don't need one. Let's start. What? Uh, but... You ruined my climactic scene. Damn you, assistant. This is an outrage. Afterwards, the Dima experiment, its name is Operation Erd, though I lost my chance to announce it, continues for two hours. Erd? The eldest of the three Norns, goddesses of fate in Norse mythology. The three sisters tend to the world tree Yggdrasil, which has roots in Erd's fountain. Erd is a Norn of the past. I like that they're using Norse mythology. I wish I knew more about it, and I probably should, considering I'm Norwegian. But we're actually gonna cut it here. This has actually been a very interesting episode, because now... Less sort of theoretical stuff, more practical stuff, more using the time machine and figuring stuff out. I like that. So hopefully it'll just keep going upwards when it comes to the excitement. Because I feel like it's been a bit slow in the start, but let's hope it curves out from here. Have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.